What's up squad, thank you so much for stopping by to check out another video here on the channel. As always, I appreciate the support. If you guys are new here, make sure you do like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you do get alerted to all the new content drops here on the channel. Squad, we are on the doorstep of 400 subscribers here on the channel. So now through the next few videos until we hit 400, I'm gonna shout out all the new subscribers in our videos. So guys, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends to come subscribe. Throw some comments in the videos for me, guys. Let me know your favorite cards uh, that you are seeing. But other than that, let's get to the action. What's up, squad? And welcome back to our latest installment of LCS Tours. We are here in Colony, New York just outside of Albany visiting Finnegan Sports Cards. Uh, they are the local card store here in the area. Uh, I did pop inside real quick to check it out. It is a nice layout, huge store, ton of stuff in here. Uh, so excited to get in and shoot some action. I believe uh, Jeff, the owner, is gonna be swinging through at some point too. So we're hoping to catch up with him. Uh, but let's head inside and see what Finnegan Sports Cards has to offer. And we're here now with Dylan, who works at Finnegan's, and he was telling me some of his background, and I figured I'd have him share it with you guys. Uh, so first, Dylan, how long have you been working here at the store? Uh, going on seven years now, about. Wow, okay, so you've definitely seen the growth of the hobby here at the store. How can you say uh, things have kind of changed in the seven years you've been here? Uh, definitely noticed a shift, like, right from when I started, really. You know, the once, once 2018 and Otani stuff started coming out, there was definitely a much larger push, you know, a lot of people getting involved again a lot of people chasing him and now what he's evolved into is crazy but now are you a collector yourself yes now so, who's in your pc so i collect everything local to this area okay. so i'm doing like so we had a hockey team here from the early 90s up until 2017 16 season so i'm doing the all-time autograph set of everyone who played on that team nice um i do all-time autographs and cards of everyone who played in this area or is from this area um picked up a johnny evers autograph last year which cool. is probably the most notable attainable autograph of someone who played here um king kelly is the other one and his autographs can get over 10 grand so oh, yeah not trying to get any of those anytime soon but now as far as the market here in the area you know albany is sort of in the middle of you got buffalo you got new york you got new england What's kind of the flavor here in Albany? Like, who do you see most people collecting or teams that they're collecting? So in the store here, we have a really good mix. Like, you know, we have Yankee fans, Red Sox fans, Mets fans, Reds fans, Cardinals fans, every any team, you name it. You can you can find a collector in this area, and that comes in the store here. So, And then, you know, football-wise, same thing. We have Jets, Giants, Patriots fans. We, we really span every team here. 
Nice. Now, as far as being here for seven years, I've seen on your Instagram you guys get some good hits uh, from you know people ripping in stores. What's the biggest hit you've seen in store so far? So biggest hit I've seen in store. So we've had at least seven or eight Babe Ruth autographs pulled in, wow. in total in the store's history. So that's big. Um, for me personally, I pulled the Ty Cobb signed baseball wow. uh, many years ago on my birthday. So that's okay. pretty cool. Nice. Um, you know, uh, we had a we've had huge Shohei Otani cards. Um, we actually just sold one for 8000 8, for a guy. Um, he, same guy got a, a rookie uh, like tag patch auto of him. Wow. So, you know, we've had some, we've had some great stuff, but like the Ruth autos are cool. That That's the one that like springs out to mind. I mean, getting, you know, $10,000 Ruth auto is pretty big. So yeah. Now what's your favorite product out right now? Out currently, so when I'm opening, it's mostly soccer and hockey. I don't okay. I don't open a ton of baseball. So, um, like, soccer-wise, I love the Topps Chrome um, UEFA stuff. I think that's good to get a good mix of all the players and everybody, you know, current. Yeah, no, I feel soccer is definitely a market that's getting hot. What would you recommend to our viewers who may be jumping into soccer? Where are some of the good buys right now? So definitely any of the UEFA products. That covers pretty much every big league in Europe. Um, so all those for – those who don't know the big tournaments in the Champions League, Europa League, Conference League, it's all the top finishing teams and all the best leagues in Europe. So you're going to cover the best players on the best teams doing those. And then other than that, like any of the Premier League stuff, like Premier League Prism and all that, that's where, you know, the best players in the world play. So Awesome. Well, there are some tips for you guys. Now, I was talking to Dylan as well. He tells me on the side he's a big traveler. Um, why don't you tell kind of everyone your plans and let's get some Instagram love for you. Yeah, so uh, I have an Instagram page with my fiance, Laura, uh, Ballpark Travelers. And we're going to every ballpark and hockey arena in the country. So currently we're at 126 ballparks, uh, 63 hockey arenas. We do everything from pro to college to independent to whatever it is, you name it. We also do, we're doing all the soccer we can, college football. If it's a sporting event, we'll do it. So, What's your dream uh, destination right now? Right now, I really, I, I'm stuck between two. I really want to get over to England to see some Premier League games, and I also want to get to Australia. Um, a few years ago, I became a big Australian rules football fan, so I want to get over there to see that, and then also um, Australian baseball in the winter. So. All right, nice. Well, Dylan, thank you for your time. Everyone, uh, definitely go give his Instagram a follow and uh, check out his ballpark travels. <laughs>
it just blossomed so fast and so quickly and uh, it was awesome to meet so many people that I could relate with being, being a longtime collector um, a lot of the old-time dealers used to tell me you can't collect and have a store and do shows at the same time I've proven that wrong for for many years now collecting at seven I was a young collector too do you remember what card or was there a moment that you're like I love this this is kind of a passion for me so we were really lucky we had um, in our neighborhood <clears throat> you know, I, it's funny. I didn't grow up in the 50s, right? It's the mm-hmm. 70s. Mm-hmm. Um, but still, we were out riding our bikes, flipping cards, playing wiffle ball. And we had a, we had a dad who who made up to 500 sets a year at, at its peak for wow. at Christmas time. Uh, through, you know, he sold through his work. And everyone in our neighborhood collected. So we would have, we would have six, eight, ten kids, like, just trading cards. We'd ride our bikes to a little local store, buy packs, and uh, it, it really was was uh, I, I, I give Mr. Gleason a lot of credit for introducing us to this to the hobby, and even some of the guys that I grew up with, you know, 45 years ago, still collect cards too, and I see them, you mm-hmm. know, time time and again. Um, and I talk to a lot of new collectors that come in, and I say, like especially now today kids have so much technology and so many choices in life for things to do but i've seen so many kids that if they're introduced to collecting and there's someone else involved a parent or a, or a brother or you know cousin or, or friends at school they like get into it and they love it it's low tech but it's but it it still it still resonates with a kids in a high-tech world yeah and definitely it's one of those things that's generational too just Absolutely. goes year Absolutely. to year yep. now what's uh who do you who's your pc what do you like to collect so i'm a huge red sox fan i've been to uh i live in new york but i've been to fenway hundreds of times my son's been there I'm 16 i've mm-hmm. taken him 70 times to red sox games nice spend every birthday there and, lucky and, kid yeah he's he is pretty lucky yeah but uh so i i really do uh a lot of red sox stuff but even that even saying you know even being a red sox fan i i concentrate on vintage stuff and on top of my Red Sox stuff I have Lou Gehrig I have Babe Ruth's signature I have Ruth cards I have Mantle rookie I I collect the classics and uh and the new stuff I have like lots of cool cards Ted Williams Carly Stramski um and like the older socks on new cards though I Mm. love the new products I love the real autographs I love all the like you know engineered scarce stuff the, the low numbered stuff and while I still, you know, have an attachment to the older cards that I grew up with, it's products like Heritage and Archives that, like, keep the nostalgia going, mm-hmm. make make it feel like, boy, I'm back in time, but I'm with new cards, you know. Yeah, no, I definitely love that. Yeah. Um, and now, last question for me. What do you recommend to people like myself, younger collectors, who are now maybe reentering or joining the hobby and starting their collection? Yeah, I, my, my uh, single word I've used for 23 years – when I see people re-entering the market or new in the market, is patience. Get get to know. Come in. You know, uh, go to your shops. Go to your local card shops. You can you can learn a lot online, but there's a lot of bad information online too. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of history in in card shops that have been around for a long time, and they've gone through ups and downs. And there's always ups and downs in the market. And there's always some blockbuster breaking news that everyone says is going to shatter the market. And the market continues. You know, so. Uh, go to shows too. Shows are a great place to get you know meet with meet with collectors and and get you know real time feedback, and uh, just just have patience though. Learn learn about what's going on with the with the hobby, and if you take the patience to to uh, figure out what you like like about it or what you are interested in, you're going to be more successful and more satisfied with your purchases. I've seen people like kind of come back in and say wow, this is great, I'm spending money everywhere, look at all this cool stuff, and then realize that they spend a lot of money and they don't necessarily have anything that they really want or yep. like, and they kind of drift away. Yep. But the guys who take the time, have patience, learn a little bit about you know what what's going on are seem to be more successful. Yeah, my big point too is just collect what you love because you're of never going to be upset with you of know, course, whatever yeah. card you pull for your PC. And, there, and there's a difference, right? Uh, 50% of my customers are still true collectors, they're not necessarily worried about values, you know, daily uh, in and out, but you do hear, and it and it it sometimes clouds the market a little bit when you have guys that are just buying to sell. Mm-hmm. There is a distinct difference between just collecting and, uh, like, let's say investing. I've never used the word investing in my store in 23 years. I don't I don't think it's the right term. Mm-hmm. 
a lot of the online guys, again, they're 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 trying to say, oh, invest in this. And that. It's not really an investment. It's fun. Yep. It's, it, you know, I've I've described it as the stock market to sports or for new cards for 20 years. I've used that term now. I hear it coming back around. But it's not like buying stocks. You know, what I mean, it's it's more like you know, just it's more like fantasy sports. Mm-hmm. You know, like. And it's tangible. Ups and downs. And it's, it's tangible, yes, yeah. Which is different than, right, you, you buy stocks, shares in stocks, you never you know, know what you have, really. Mm-hmm. This, you do have something in front of you. But don't don't get caught up in the, uh, you know, this is what's hot, so i got to buy what's hot, and this is what's, you know, not, so i got to sell it. If you love it, don't, you know, the, the value shouldn't be that that important, you know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, Jeff, some great tips here for collectors. Thank you so much yeah, for your time, you. everyone. If you're in the Albany area, definitely go check out Finnegan's. Give him a follow on Instagram. Shoot Jeff some questions. Great guy. I'm sure he'll take some time to answer it. And he might be at Fenway, apparently, so go see him there, too. <laughs> Any chance I get. All right, thanks, Jeff. All right, thank you very much. Hey, Dylan, yeah. if I was going to get a pack of soccer, what should I get? Never opened soccer before. <laughs> the Topps Chrome UEFA is my recent These ones? Okay. Yeah, for a reasonably priced pack, it's actually got some good chances. All right. Pirates broadcast or card? All right, guys. So, grab the tops, Chrome. I got the soccer expert Dylan here, of course. So, never opened soccer in my life. So, Dylan's gonna tell me if we get anything good. Like I said, you guys have pulled some hot stuff here in the store, so I figured. I give it a shot myself. Hobby pack, Topps Chrome UEFA. Let's see. All right, we got Rafael Leo. Top striker for them for okay. AC Milan. Declan Rice. Newest transfer to Arsenal. Okay. You're gonna have to tell me that one. Bitchiabu. Bitchiabu. I am not Don't very demonetize this him. now, YouTube. And lastly. A Aslani? Okay. All right. Refractor rookie. Is it Refractor rookie card? All right. So let's go Aslani. A new fan of Aslani. All right, Dylan. What do you think of the pack? Good? Yeah, good. All right, cool. For five bucks, it's a great pack. All right, guys. So rip some uh, Topps Chrome UEFA. You never know what you might get. Squad, that is a wrap from Finnegan's here. Thanks so much to Jeff and Dylan for taking their time to join us here on the vlog. I really, really like this spot. I definitely recommend you guys stop by if you are in the Albany area. It's just got that vibe of just an old school card store. You saw Jeff has so much knowledge. Tons of people coming in, just asking, picking his brain. Gives great deals to his customers. Just that old school card shop vibe you get here at Finnegan's card store, uh, Finnegan's sports cards, excuse me. So definitely go check them out. Um, again, shout out to Jeff. We picked up some stuff for the PC while we were here. Uh, just, you know, some small stuff. We grabbed just this Aaron Judge. Uh, my buddy Jeff's kid Brody loves Judge, so we grabbed him that card for his collection. Uh, grabbed a couple Manny Ramirez rookie cards. Got this one out of score, 91, 92, as well as the upper deck Manny rookie card. 
And then we grabbed the Topps Gold Label Devers rookie card. And then we also grabbed a Bayo Sky Blue First Bowman First Edition. So it's not just the Bowman First, it's got the First Edition tag on there too. So that's going in the Bayo PC. And then just funny that he mentioned him. I already pulled the card aside to get it, but you saw Jeff talk about having the vintage players on new products, specifically mentioned Carl Yastrzemski. He had this card in store. So we grabbed this Yaz. It's out of Panini um, 3 and 2. It's a full count swatches. All game use patches uh, numbered out of 49 for Yaz. So that's going to go in the Sox PC. But again, guys, come see Jeff. Come see Dylan. These guys are awesome. If I lived in this area, I would be here regularly. But again, shout out to these guys. I'll put all their info here in the video. Go check them out if you are in Albany. Uh, but hit them up if you have any questions as well. I'll definitely be back. Highly recommend this store. Uh, but other than that, guys, we're out from Finnegan's. Last thing before we go, squad, as always, guys, make sure you like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you get alerted to all the new content drops. Go throw us a follow on Instagram if you haven't yet. In the comments, guys, let me know some local card stores I should hit in the New England area or maybe some stores I should put on a future hit list as well. I am going to be heading to the West Coast, so we are going to have some videos from a new area. I'm going to be heading out to Montana and Washington, plan to hit a couple card stores, go through some cards from my old collection, maybe try to hunt down some cards as well uh, i got some interesting content on the docket guys so of course make sure you like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on but i'll catch you in the next one